Let's take a look at how we can set up MIDI controller devices with FL Studio. So I'm going to go to Options over here and then select the MIDI Settings option. You can click F10 to access the same. So in here we have the MIDI Settings tab. In this upper section we can define the MIDI output. So let's say we want to control a external device with FL Studio, we could define it here. Now I'm more concerned with the MIDI input. Over here we will see any MIDI controller devices that have been connected to the computer. You can see my complete control here. So now I can just click Enable. You can see this power icon over here. So now we know it's enabled. Now you can choose a controller type here. That is if you find your controller here. Unfortunately, the complete control is not available. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to just leave it at generic controller. It's still going to work perfectly fine. We just won't get any advanced functionality like transport control. And we'll have to set up MIDI mappings manually. Now I also have a MIDI fighter connected. So I'm going to enable that as well. You can see it's on. Under the controller type, the MIDI fighter is available. So I could select that. But I'm going to actually set it to generic because I want it to work like a generic MIDI input to trigger MIDI notes. If I did select it, it would go into a performance mode and I don't want to use it like that for now. All right, now we can ignore everything else over here because that's pretty much it, at least in terms of setting up a MIDI controller. So let's try it out. So if I input any notes on my MIDI controller, FL Studio is receiving that activity. So we know it's working fine. Now to control an instrument, we need to load in an instrument. Let's load in Harmless. I'll replace the sampler. Let's tweak the settings a bit here. Pretty cool. Let's add another instrument. Maybe a drum instrument. How about the FPC? I'll place it right below so we have a separate track for it. I'll also assign a separate channel on the mixer for it. Alright, so now when I play on my MIDI controller, let's try a different drum kit. How about the 808? So now you can see I have selected that particular track on the channel rack and the MIDI data is going to that particular track. If I play on either of my MIDI controllers, all that MIDI data goes into that one track. If I was to select the harmless track, so now irrespective of which MIDI controller I play on, all the MIDI data will go into harmless. Now in the next video, let's see how we can lock certain controllers to certain tracks in FL Studio.